Okay, I wanted to do a quick video on something that I had to work through this week. Basically, with a brand new PKI environment, if you go to the web interface to issue a cert and you wish to add a subject alternative name, that doesn't work unless you apply a registry entry which reduces the security of the web interface or the certificate services itself. So you can publish a certificate to Active Directory that allows you to specify a SAN or you can also use the cert request the cert rec command line tool to create a request that will allow you to obtain a certificate with a customized uh, subject alternate name or SAN as it were. So we'll take a quick look at this sway. I'll make sure to have links to everything in the description of the video so go to the YouTube channel subscribe share and like so let's take a look here okay so first of all this is for machines at win 7 or server 2008 and newer if your machines older than that you've got bigger problems than issuing a cert so we're not going to cover that topic so basically you're going to copy all this text here and I'll put this text in the description of the video so that you can copy it from there Save it somewhere in a path that you'll be able to navigate to and call it requestinf.inf. And then I want to pay close attention to the notes here at the bottom. There's only four parameters we're going to have in here that are, are of any interest to us that you should consider modifying. First is the subject. Second is whether you're going to create an exportable certificate. So you're going to have true or false as the second parameter then your subject alternate name to do a DNS subject alternate name you're going to use this continue equals DNS and you have to have the ampersand there you can specify additional sands in this same manner one right after the other can under bar continue under bar equals some type of information we'll go back up in the text and show you where that is and then the last thing is explicitly naming the certificate template that you're going to be requesting and you've taken the spaces out of that name when you see it in the GUI it's going to have spaces but when you specify it here the spaces are removed so let's go back and look at those parameters yeah if you need a subject subjects are not really necessary anymore but this is going to show who the certificate was issued to and it's also going to show up as the subject Here's that exportable parameter. I'm leaving it at false, but you could say true. You don't need to worry about any of these other things. Just make sure they're in there. Now here under extensions as text is that continue. Here's where I'm requesting the SAN. And then lastly, here's where I'm specifying the certificate template. And let's step through the rest of the procedure here. So you're going to open a command prompt as admin. Change to that pass where you saved the request file. And then you're going to run this cert rec command, new certificate request, based on the request int file that you created. And it's going to output a request rec file in that same path. So you're going to want to retrieve that request rec file after you've run this command prompt. We can go ahead and peek in on that. It looks just like this. You're going to see stuff go by like that now you're going to navigate to the web interface of your certificate services in your active directory certificate services server they all look alike and you're going to click on request a certificate then you're going to use the submit certificate request by using the base 64 encoded then you're going to select the server certificate template that you specified in the int file so that has to match what's in the int file next you're going to copy the contents of the request rec file that you created and paste it in the saved request window up here and then you're going to press submit and at that point you're going to be prompted to download your certificate yeah they all look alike i'll show you this and let's look at the finished product here. We can see the properties of the new certificate that I just got because I hit download certificate and I said open it. And you can see we've got hostname.domain.com is who it's issued to and that's what I put in in the subject uh, name. Then 
when we look at the details because we wanted to do the subject alternative name and we weren't able to do that any other way so we can see here we do have the subject alternative name in the name that I specified url.domain.com I hope this saved you a few minutes I spent about 10-15 minutes playing around with it uh, leave a link to the references also in the description so look in the description for the text file the link to this I'll send you the link to this sway here so you can share it with friends and again subscribe share and like on my YouTube channel thank you very much